Happy Mother's Day, y'all. It's Melanie Ferguson here with Southern Crush at Home, where I hope to inspire you to create and decorate a home that you love. And I wanted to come on, I know it's odd, it's a Sunday afternoon, but I've hoped that uh, several of you would be um, hanging out at home and relaxing and having a chance to like hop on and watch a quick little project. So if you hop on, say, hey, let me know, um, sorry, hey Sharon, how are you? Let me know you're watching. Um, tell me what you did for Mother's Day today. Um, I'm still waiting on half my family to come home. And so, uh, yeah, so I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. I'll get Mother's Day as soon as I'm done with the video. <laughs> that should be encouragement, right? All right. So, you guys know the drill. I don't have my little sign tonight, or today, but this is what I'm giving away. Oh my gosh, y'all, I have to flip the camera around. Hang tight. I gotta flip the camera around. Don't you know? Okay, whoops. Okay. Sorry, wrong way. Good grief. Well, happy Mother's Day to you. Thank you, thank you. All right, I had to flip that puppy around so that you guys can see my stuff. This is what I'm giving away. It's super cute. It's a, um, it's a notepad. I'm trying to keep it all perfect. Um, and it's got lined pages, lined pages. So it's perfect for um, taking notes, making lists, or like the project I'm doing tonight is, for, is called Game Night Centerpiece. It's for keeping score. And just to remind us that you should enjoy the little things because um, time that you spend together playing games. We do this like at least once a week we play games. Um, maybe even it's just one game, <laughs> but we always, always, always fit it in. So the first thing we're going to need for the project is a can. So I just grabbed this Maxwell House can, um, and I'm totally making this up, y'all. I saw the centerpiece some time, uh, some time ago on the internet somewhere. I don't know. It might have been Pinterest. It might have been, I have no clue. I have no clue. But anyway, I'm making it my own. I don't know exactly how they did that or how they did the project. But you take one of these glass jars that I show you all the time. They're like $5. You can get them on Amazon or Walmart. And then I just thought this would be the right size to go down in here and fill up most of the jar. It's backwards for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to decorate this can and then we're going to put some stuff inside of the glass jar and then we're going to make it into a centerpiece. So let's get started. I'm so excited. All right, I'm going to put this part aside. You guys help me out for the people who hop on late and let them know um, answers to their questions. I really appreciate it. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the lid off. I've already cleaned the inside out. Yes, cat's out of the bag. This is the kind of coffee we drink. Um, I love it. It's, I, I think it makes a big difference as to what kind you drink. Um, let's see here. Hello, I can't read the comments because I'm getting notifications and all the things. Okay, somebody, somebody said something and I couldn't read it. I'm sorry, y'all. All right, let's get started. So what I plan to do is I'm gonna take these bingo cards. Bingo! You guys tell me if you love playing bingo. We, we like playing bingo. Maybe we're really old souls or something. I don't know. And I'm going to add these Scrabble cards to it. So, ah, it's already dripping, already dripping me out some glue. All right. So I'm going to glue the Scrabble card to the bingo uh, card. If my glue gun, oh yeah, it's hot enough. That's for sure. Okay. So here we go. I'm just going to kind of center it on the bingo card like that. Okay. I have no idea. I'm just making this up. This ought to be, I mean, I hope it looks good when we're done. It better. It's going in my living room on the game table that I'm sitting at. Did y'all know I do my crafts at the game table? It's just a little four top four person table but it's the perfect size to play games all right so now I've got H and O 
H and O. I just decided to, to do home. I could have done um, game. I, I think it would have been really cute. I mean, you can make this your own, guys. Make it however you want to do your centerpiece. And you may not even want to do um, a game night theme. You may want to do some totally other idea, which is awesome. That's why I love it when y'all share. In fact, over in the craft club, if you haven't joined us yet, um, people are sharing their projects. Y'all, I did this one crooked. Grief, good grief. Come on, card, give me some grace. It's not giving me any grace. Hold on. Well, that's good to know that it's gluing and it's gluing, it's gluing hard. It was crooked. I don't think it would have mattered, but, oh, and I'm shaking my whole camera. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Christine. Uh, my camera, whatever it is, my phone is in the complete wrong spot for me to see comments today. Let me see if I can fix that. Hang tight. Okay. There we go. Now I can see them. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get the last one down. The last letter. All right gonna set this in the middle of the card so what I did was I just tried to get them oh you want to say thank you for sharing the bandana wreath oh good you love making them Christine you're so welcome so I just kind of centered it between the the B and the O um, as far as the lines and clearly I didn't do the greatest of jobs because it's not even but that's okay all right so now I'm gonna attempt to glue these onto the Maxwell house can and I'm literally just gonna glue the first one down. Now I did eyeball it to see if they were gonna fit and there's actually a lot of extra space. So I'm gonna have to really gauge as to how, uh, how I get it on there. So I decided that I would do, um, a little bit farther down from the tip top. Hey Lisa, how are you? Um, so that some of the blue would show and that's on purpose. So here's the H. Okay. So they're gonna overlap. Was that right? Overlap. I'm just gonna make sure. Y'all, I don't want to get to the end in front of y'all and then not have an, yeah. It's gonna overlap just a little bit. So I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna put the B, I was gonna put the B under the O, but I didn't plan it good enough. So I'm just gonna put the B over the O for now. And then I'm gonna try to make sure I get the, I'm gonna leave a little space of glue here on this card to fit the um, next card under it because I'd like the whole word bingo to show at some point. Okay, so I left a little bit of it up so I could slip this card underneath here. Okay, I'm gonna just make that go like that, I guess. <laughs> Y'all, it's just whatever. So I'm going to add the glue to this and then I'm going to add the glue to this and I'm going to let the last one um, do its own thing. Just trying to get it a little bit even, trying to keep it loose. And it doesn't have to be perfect because there's going to be lots of stuff in the jar. Hey, Vicki, how are you? I'm trying to read. Sorry. Thank you, Debbie. I appreciate you. 
And you guys, this is what we're giving away today for sprinkling the video around the internet. It's a little enjoy the little things, farmhouse looking notepad. I loved it. I thought it was super cute. Give me some hearts if you like it. So, so far we have H-O-M and I got just enough space to add the E. Let me see what I've got here. Probably it's going to overlap, which is great. Okay, the E is gonna be the only one that gets its own spot. Where did you get the Scrabble cards? Um, I'll put a link to everything. I'll put a link to everything um, in the Shop the Project. I, I never get a chance to do that before I do the videos because the videos are literally when I can do them. And it's like, oh, yes, I can do this real quick. Or I can try to do this real quick, y'all. It's crooked. Not very forgiving, I will tell you that. Come here, card. The E has been giving me trouble since the first second. Hang tight. I'm gonna add another stick. Hey Susan, thank you so much. Vanessa, thank you so much. All right, so I'm gonna glue the M down a little bit more. And apparently it's not gonna be able to be even on both because, um, I don't know, I guess something happened and the cards aren't even. There we go, this is pretty close. All right, so I'm gonna put the glue on and just cross my fingers. I'm running out of glue, so that's why. I'm having to press my lips because um, that's what I have to do when I have to think. Okay, that is on there. It's not gonna be perfectly even. Hey, Karen, oh, it's raining, time to craft, that's right. Oh, I've got a bug. You can tell it's not um, raining here in Texas. We always have bugs. <laughs> All right, so I think this is on there. I'm gonna show y'all what we have so far. Come on, E, Y. Okay. Oh my gosh. I guess, I guess I wrapped it down ways, but it doesn't matter y'all. You're never gonna know. You're never gonna know if I didn't have told you. Didn't have told you. All right. H, oh, Janie, it's still raining in New York too. Mm. Y'all have forgotten my earrings. All right, so H, O, M E and you're not going to see them all at the same time anyway, so it's not that big of a deal, but yeah, so I'm going to put this um, right about here so y'all can see it. I'm going to take the bouquet, so we're going to use some flowers, okay? Everything's better with flowers, and we're just going to, um, what do you call it? Take them apart. We're going to take them apart. I've got my handy dandy wire cutters. Have you ever used that sticky spray? Oh yeah, Lisa, I have. I just don't think that, I mean, clearly I'm not an expert, but um, I don't think that the um, either one of those would have glued that particular thing any better because they are very stiff, thick cards. And um, so, yeah. So right now, y'all, I am taking the flowers off of this bouquet and then we are gonna have some super fun time arranging them inside of hey Mary Lou hey Debbie thank you Mary Lou I appreciate you we're gonna arrange them for the centerpiece part and I'm just I'm not gonna take every single thing off of here but Maybe I am. Just 
enough, enough to make it fluffy. Fluffy's better, right? Oh, thank you, Mary Lee. Thank you, Karen. Okay. I hope y'all all had a happy Mother's Day. I really, really, really want you to tell me what you did so I can live through y'all because I haven't done anything yet. I have done. I've worked. I worked. Um, okay. So, hello. I'm dropping stuff on the floor. So, I'm going to put the lid back on the can, however it goes. And I am going to start poking the flowers through. And I'm crossing my fingers. They poke. Oh, yes. They poke easily. So, here's one. These are my kind of plants, y'all. You can't kill them. Thank you, Barbie. That's so sweet of you. I'm going to start with the green. Y'all, you got to build a base. And most likely, this is going to look better from one side than the other. So, there's that. <laughs> you went to a fish fry and you're hanging out with your kids. That's so awesome. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, mm, I'm having to push really hard. As you can tell, my camera's jumping around. Now I'm going to add a little bit of um, filler. And this is totally random, y'all. And like I said, I may not use all of the all of the plants. This is what I have so far. I have so many notifications on here. I can't even see. So it doesn't look like much yet. You went to church, then lunch with your husband, mother, and sister. Oh, Marla, that's super special. And Karen, you went to church and then lunch at Longhorns for Mother's Day. Oh, and now you're watching the craft. Oh, you went to church with your mother, Susan. That's so sweet. So sweet. All right, so now I'm going to add a couple of the flowers. And I may have to tweak them a little bit once um, I get them down in the jar, but at least this will just get me started. They're literally just popping in there, y'all. Which is awesome. Because I thought I was going to have to make holes ahead of time. And I ain't got time to do that. That's for sure. Oh, this one. This one's not cooperating. It's literally... Hold on. It's literally... There we go. It came out of its little wire sheath. So this is where we are so far. I'm back here, I promise. Hey Sharon, hey Jan, how are you today? I hope all of y'all are having a great Mother's Day. Okay, I'm gonna need some more leaves just because I can tell that I'm missing some leaves over here on the other side. Probably right here. I can get it to poke in. Oh, thank you, Mary Lee. Thank you, thank you. All right, y'all, it's not exactly, but it's close. And it's how it's gonna be for right now. Where did I put? I had one more little green filler piece. I'm going to put that right here. If I can get in. Okay. So this is what we have so far. It's just a little tiny bouquet. All right. So here we go. This is the exciting part. Are you watching? Oh, thank you, Mary Lou. Just gonna drop it in there, y'all. Just drop it in there. <laughs> so it totally fits. I don't know how much you can see. It totally fits. And now I'm going to fill it in. Um, it's gonna be easier to see when I take a picture of it for y'all. <laughs> of course, I'm probably still gonna add, <laughs> it looks like I still wanna add another piece of uh, flour. 
probably can't tell out over on your end, but it needs another piece. I'm, I'm back here. I promise. Hang tight. There we go. All right. Uh, can you see it so far? All right. So I'm going to leave it in there, even though y'all can't see me. And I am going to start filling it in. Ah, and I meant to grab my other. So now I'm going to take poker chips. We, we sometimes play poker, but only for these chips and they don't mean anything. <laughs> You're going to make a painted, um, I can't see that far, for a pinecone bouquet for your mom's 81st birthday. Aw, you will have to post Marla. Um, if you haven't joined the craft club, I think you may have, but if you have, be sure to share that with us. Also, I'm going to put dominoes in here, y'all. And I have some Scrabble wooden letters that I'm going to add that I haven't um, added yet. I mean, that I didn't bring in here with me. I need like an assistant to help me with a lot of this, y'all. So see, the reason I did it this way is so um, we can still use the dominoes and the chips. Trying to get all colors in the front. Can y'all see? I can't see a thing. Hang tight. I'm swiping the comments away. Okay. I'm trying to keep it even because it'll slip one way or the other if you don't watch out. You can put whatever you want here, y'all. I even have some playing cards I thought I would add, but I don't want to get it so high up that it covers up the word home. Again, I could have put game, but I just liked the word home. I thought it was kind of decor-y, decor-ish. So you see the chips are blue and that brings out the blue in the Maxwell House can. And then uh, some of them are red, which brings out the bingo. Some of them are green, which brings out the plant. So that's what I have so far. Let me see what I think about some cards. Maybe, maybe not. No, I don't know if it messes up the, uh, the word home. I'm sure you can still read it. I got a domino sticking up here. There we go. You can still read the word home. I don't know. What do y'all think? Take out the playing cards? I don't know. There's three in there. Yeah, I think the playing cards is too much. It covers up the bingo letters. I mean numbers. You can't see if you got a bingo. Hang tight. I know I keep saying that. I really say all these things to myself because, woo. So I think what I'll do is to finish this up, off camera of course, I will uh, probably add a ribbon twine, some jute, something like that. But yeah, that gives you the idea. It's just a game night centerpiece for this table in here. So from far away, you're not really sure. You're thinking it's a cute arrangement. You get up close, you're like, oh, how fun. All the things. So I definitely want to add, um, give me some hearts. I can't see. Um, Oh, Julie, you almost missed me. No, you, you didn't. You didn't. Um, oh, Debbie would like to see the pine cone bouquet when you finish. All right, so uh, join the craft club, y'all. You can see it all. There we go. Just settle in it a little more. Uh, it's backwards for me, so I'm going the wrong way. Buffalo check ribbon. 
Done and done, Lisa. Done and done. Let me go grab it. Do y'all will y'all hang tight with me if, if I go grab the ribbon? Hang tight. ribbon y'all I just did the cardinal rule my mother would say do not run with scissors and shh, I ran with the scissors <laughs> but I had to hurry and get back all right what are some rules your mom would give you ha huh. all right so we're gonna add the buffalo check what do y'all think that was total genius. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I am going to um, probably what I'll do. Ah, I have some smaller buffalo check ribbon that I will um, finish my bow with. But to start my bow, I'm just going to do a back and forth one. So I'm just going to take it here. I think that's a good size. Yeah pinch it in the middle, take it here. I don't even know if you can see. Pinch it in the middle, twist it. Yes, Linda, yes, super cute, thank you, thank you. I'm not gonna make it huge poofy, but a little poof for sure. So if you guys don't know how to do a bow, I can do um, a tutorial another time. What did you say about the dominoes, Lisa? Okay. I don't know. Maybe one more, one more loop. Terry, we can see, you can see what? The plant covering my whole face. Oh, you can see us, me tying this, making this, whatever. <laughs> Woo! All right, that's it for the bow here. I'm gonna cut this off. I have no other ribbon on me right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to make the tails without, without moving. And I'm thinking I maybe should have made the, the bow bigger. But we're gonna go with it for now, y'all. Ribbon and dominoes pop, that's exactly right. Yes, I could have done Miss Brooks' refrap bow, Mary Lou. But I didn't. I didn't just in this bow alrighty she not a very pretty bow because I didn't have my right stuff y'all but you know I'm gonna be fixing this bow and making it better um, 
when I get off here, right? Y'all know that, right? Okay. So I'm just cutting the tails, and I just like to go at a straight slant, but um, is that an oxymoron, a straight slant? I don't really do the dog, dog ears. I mean, I, it depends on the project, depends on the project. Okay, so here we are. This is the ribbon. This is the project. And I will be probably just gluing it on there. I'd like to wrap it around, but I'm not positive yet. So I just wanted y'all to see how the buffalo check, yes, completely pops. Maybe I'll tie it around, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna be tying it around. I'm not in love with this bow, y'all. I am not in love with this bow. Oh, thank you, Mary Lou. You're so sweet. I'm gonna show y'all one more time what I am doing with the um, people who spread the word today about the video. I'm just tying this on so it can be on and I don't have to sit here and hold it. But yeah. Looks like a bouquet, like I'm, like I'm sending someone flowers. Um, here I am, I'm over here. <laughs> All right, so this gives you the idea. I will shoot a picture of it so you guys can see. But yeah, I think the flowers are a little big, personally. I'm thinking of squishing them down a little bit. <laughs> and I'd really like to add some Scrabble letters to the jar so that the wooden color is offset as well. But yeah, this gives you the idea. All right, so this is what I am giving away today. If you hopped on late or you're watching on replay, this is um, today's prize and it is so cute. Uh, enjoy the little things, which is what I would encourage you to do with your mom today. All right, ladies, I appreciate you. If you haven't had a chance to go check it out, definitely go check out southerncrushcraftclub.com and give me some love for this. Appreciate y'all. Have a good day.